In this video, we're going to take a look at the history brush, the eraser tool, and the gradient tool. All right, so let's start off by opening the a new, opening a new document. So I'm going to click open, and then I'm going to select this image, double click. Right, so we have this image. So what I'm going to do is to show you how this history brush works. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come here, this history brush, and then show you where the instances are. So what the history brush does is it shows you different instances of the stages you take while you're working on your document. So I'm gonna click here on, um, on this uh, history icon. Right, so my first action is to go to image, desaturate, adjustments, desaturate. Right, so now you can see desaturate is here. So what you may want to do is now you know that before it was desaturated, it had color. So you can use this creatively by selecting this um, history brush and making sure that the history brush is selected on the layer that was there before, which is the color layer. So if we start painting back in there, we could start bringing back the color just on the lips. Okay, so if we start painting. All right, so now we've got the lips. And let's also do... Right, so as I'm adding all these instances, do you see that my history is being updated? Right, so if... Every time I add something on there, the history panel gets updated with the action. As you can see, you will have a very long list, but this is one way you could use the history to go and adjust your document. All right, let's move on to the next thing, which is the, uh, the eraser tool. Again, the eraser tool, the, um, the options are right here in the top. You can choose the size of the brush that you want, and you can either choose a hard brush or a soft brush. So it does what it says, you come in there and then, you know, you can start erasing. So now you can see it's covered in white. When you erase, it just gets rid of the part of the image that you don't want. Okay, so that's what the eraser tool does. So I'm just going to press Command Z a few times. And then let's go to the gradient tool. Now the gradient tool, what you do is you select the colors that you want the gradient to flow from and two, and then you come here to the, to the top, and then you choose which gradient style that you want. So if you want color to white or color to transparent, you select it here. So let's just do this first example, foreground to transparent. So I'm gonna open a new layer, click and drag. So now you can see my image is covered by red to transparent. If I press Command Z, I can change the, di uh, the direction by pressing, by starting from the bottom to the top, like that. Okay, so that's how we use the gradient tool. If we use the gradient tool to, to do red, to, from red to white, you'll notice that the changes are dramatic. So I'll just press Command Z to get rid of that. And now let's repeat that action again. And now you'll notice that it covers the whole image because there's no transparency. So choose your modes carefully here. 